Good morning, everybody. It is a Sunday. This is crazy loony lady. I haven't even done my hair. I look like an old witch. <laughs> I, um, I've just been to the shed really quickly. My husband wants the car. He's going down to the beach with whoever, whatever kid he wants, wants to go with him. Plus picking up two teenagers because teenagers are so much fun. They've been at their friend's place for a couple of nights. And um, yeah, he's going to pick them up on the way back. Now, I've just been at my shed because... Because I had to pick up something for somebody, one of my friends, and who my husband's going to see today, and I had to drop off a heap of stuff because I don't know how many kids will be back in there. I need the car later. But yesterday I went to Bunnings, and for those who are overseas, if I actually even have any people following me from overseas, and I hope you are because I'll show you how to eat Vegemite eventually. Um, there's a big pole here, guys. A lot of you guys probably know this because you watch me on my other channel too. But there's this huge gigantic damn hole right in the middle of the driveway. Now I think this this used to be someone's yard or they've moved their house right back to the back of the property and they've used all this area here for buildings and storage sheds and whatnot. So <laughs> that damn hole is right in the middle of everybody's um, way of getting in. The guy up there, he actually backs his truck in. How he does it, I don't know. I think he curses it when I'm in the way. Well, I'm not actually in the way. I'm sort of parked to the side of my shed. But there's only a little bit of room there. So anyway. What was I saying? <clears throat> oh yes, so I went to Bunnings and I bought a um, water pressure machine because our bus is so freaking dirty. Like it's driving me nuts every time I look at it. Inside it's not that great either because I've got damn dogs. But, and I've decided the other day when I'm an old lady, it's either no pets or I'm having a cat. And I've never been a cat person. They're the only pets, the only pet I'm gonna have if I have a pet at all, because I'm too impatient. <laughs> Grumpy old lady syndrome is what I'm getting. Now I get it. I understand it. Oh, oh, the disappointments in life and all the rest of it. But yeah, I'm not doing dogs. I'm 100% not doing dogs in my in my older age. But maybe a cat if I feel like it. <laughs> Just don't think I will. I don't know. But anyway, um, getting back to the bus. Buses. Um, I need to be really good clean on the outside. Like Ernie's are quite expensive. But I end up getting this Ozito, which is in the back, which I don't know if I can show you. But it's an Ozito. Um, water pressure machine and it was only $109 it was on special the next one up from that was $160 I think and I thought it's got a three-year warranty a replacement warranty so I thought I'd grab that um, and give the bus a good clean I'm no good at putting things together I hate having to I hate having lots of attachments for stuff like I hate it so I said to my husband you put it together and I'll do it I don't care about doing it but he's actually gonna go and see his friend in McLean who's got one of our ladders we've got a ladder there it belongs to us we've stored our plants there and little bits and our ladder is there as well so he's going to bring that back so one of us probably me because his back's really bad we'll get up on the roof and give that a really good clean too we'll probably seal up some of the there's some spots up there he reckons it's that's leaking and it's causing a lot of uh, water to come down into the roof section that's why we keep getting mold so I've got to get up there and have a look to see if I can see where it's coming from and then I'll probably do some sealing or he'll do some um, sealing around those. Um. <sighs> he wants to eventually take down the whole, all of the um, solar panels, right? They're all bolted down. He reckons that's where the water's coming in at and it's rotten, it's rusting away and it's coming in through those solar panels. He wants to eventually take it all down and check it, but that's a huge damn job. He's not going to be able to do it. So I thought I'd, if I can get up there, I wanted to get up there and have a look to see if I can find where it's coming from. Maybe just seal all the um, all that area where the, the, where the water may be coming through. I don't know. But even though, even again, my granddaughter's mattress, I told her to leave the plastic on it and she didn't. And the leak down the side of her window freaking destroyed the mattress again and I'm so sick of it. I, I'm actually, I, I keep having a laugh to myself because if I don't laugh, I'll cry. I'm laughing to myself thinking, what sane woman at my age is living in a bus? Well, she's got a perfectly good house up north, but she doesn't want to go back there because of all the dramas that happen when she goes back there. Even now, even just getting a phone call from a particular person causes me to have severe um, anxiety. I've had to block her, as you know. No, I mean, I can't live up there again. I really can't. But anyway, back at the bus now. I thought I'd just have a little chatter to tell you what I'm up to. So once I get the bus clean, because it's really dirty on the outside, like so dirty, just a lot of mildew, because we're under shade a lot, so it's a lot of mildew and stuff that's growing on the on the bus, you know. And also the top of this car, 
it's got there's a lot of leaves because we're under trees and it's causing all that you know issues with the roof so i've got to give that a really good clean as well anyway i'm back now i'm going to go and i'll talk to you soon aussie boomer life and all that over and out have a good one guys get that exactly right yeah I should have done that first. I even cleaned his mouldy chair. So black with mould. And look how clean and nice and pretty it is now. You can sit in it. I've walked out and I nearly blinded me with the light. Now I didn't finish the windows because I'm not happy about the paint going everywhere. So I've left the windows for now till we actually get the paint to repaint it. Then I'll scrape it all off. But the bus is looking so much better, outside at least. I even it up the top there. Great.